Team 10 investigation. We're getting a first hand look at the destruction done to a college area woman's home. Just a mess. A caretaker took it over and were then refused to leave. Investigator Allison Ash was there as that woman faced a judge. 71 year old Cheryl Sherrell looked despondent as she stood before a judge in jailhouse sweats and handcuffs. She pleaded not guilty to four misdemeanor counts and agreed to stay away from the house 90 year old widow Fran Breslauer owns. Hello. Breslauer's daughter hired a locksmith and called police to help her get into the house she hasn't had access to since her 91 year old father died in February. Inside Breslauer's house, it's now a hoarder's paradise. Check out the old TVs. There's china, old booze bottles, and even a collection of old lamps. Now it's filthy. It's got crap all over. It looks like a garbage dump. When she said crap, she meant it. Dog poop was everywhere, mingled with the piles and piles of stuff neighbors say Sherelle carted into the house. It is a real punch in the gut. You know, I'm just glad that my mother isn't here to do this. Because of the way the law works, the widow Breslauer was forced to pay the utilities for Sherelle and the tenants she found on Craigslist. Sherelle is accused of keeping the rent for herself. Breslauer's mother is staying with another of her daughters for now. This daughter says seeing the mess would break her mom's heart. She'd be sick to her stomach. And she'd say, we got to fight and change the law so this doesn't happen to someone else. The war isn't over yet, but the Breslauer family says they won the battle to get Sherelle out. Allison Ash, Team 10. And Sherelle's bail is set at $10,000. If and when she posts it, she'll, she told the judge she'll move in with her former mother-in-law. She's back in court next month. You can count on Team 10 to be there.